for Indi. Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is the Minister, to in Minister for Environment and Energy. Uh, the government tells us Australia should be able to achieve the policy trifecta of energy that is affordable, reliable and secure. And feedback from my electorate is that energy also should be sustainable. Across Australia, there are more than 60 groups developing community energy projects, and the most popular are community solar projects. In Indi alone, there are 24 per cent of households with rooftop solar, and the community initiative Totally Renewable Yakandanda to continues to drive amazing change at the grassroots level. My question, Minister. What support can the minister and the government offer to communities in rural and regional Australia to help us move towards a community energy model? The Minister for Energy and the Environment. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And I thank the member for Indi for her question and congratulate her local community for taking positive initiatives to integrate renewables effectively into the grid and to create more sustainable communities. And she has personally told me about the experiences of Wangaratta and Benalla councils who have proceeded with lower energy lighting and the work that that is doing to lower their fuel bills but also to lower their carbon footprint. Mr. Speaker. At the federal level, the Clean Energy Finance Corporation has been working in the electorate of Indi to support local businesses. In fact, thanks to government support, New Fruit in Wangaratta has installed rooftop solar to supply more than 10 per cent of its electricity needs. Wodonga rendering and Wodonga abattoirs can stay competitive as exporters by lowering their costs thanks to a tri-generation plant which provides heat, chilling and electricity as well as lowering emissions. Local apple and chestnut grower Nightingale Brothers will cut its energy costs by 40 per cent. Um, by replacing refrigeration facilities with a new ammonia-based cooling system and smart controls. And of course, the Turnbull government has announced a $5 million solar communities program and the work that that is doing to provide up to $15,000 for installing rooftop solar PV. And the key point here is that Australia has the highest penetration in the world on a per capita basis of solar PV. So whether it's through our Clean Energy Innovation Fund and the Southern Cross Renewable Energy Fund, which is investing well over $5 million in GreenSync, an Australian company which specialises in innovative technology for better energy management, whether it's the work we're doing at Cooper Pedy and King Island, where diesel is being replaced by renewable energy power systems, supplying over 65 per cent of the island's energy needs, the Turnbull government is getting on getting on with providing in increased funding and support for the Clean Energy Finance Corporation and ARENA to undertake important storage and battery storage and pump hydro facilities, as well as local solar initiative projects and supporting businesses lower their fuel costs as well as lowering the carbon footprint.